I just don't get Roy on all this. You know, going for Johnny Waters, and look, there's history there. Well, well, that happens in life. Some people you don't get on with. You know, it's no big deal. But Roy loves to point the finger. When I was with Roy, at times he would always refer to punditry and oh, I'll turn the telly off and I go and I'm when and he's become one and you sort of feel Roy your contradiction your contradictions every time you speak about what you did and what other people do you don't like and he does it so, well Dennis Irwin won more medals than Roy at Man United you know and I know how good Dennis <laughs> Irwin is and um, Roy has to I, I just wish, wish he'd take his pedal uh, foot off the pedal with everything he's saying because he has become a bit of a laughing stock in football. Yeah, he's I know players a like myself. Yeah, we're all looking at one thing. Roy, really? Again, why are you so vocal on so much stuff about everybody else? Look, I do it, but I'm talking about someone who I've, I've, I've shared a lot of situations with. Ted. He's ter turning punditry into the Jeremy Kyle show for me at the moment. I mean, I'm not going to complain. So, uh, oh, Georgie, and it was Georgie, what, on this final point. Yeah, he's a coach. He's a manager. Yeah. Okay, well, he's been he both. He wants okay? to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's been both. And when you see him on TV, he's not analysing games. He's not doing what Gary Neville would do. Or, you know, or, or any pundit, you might, Danny Higginbottom. You know, you're not, you're not seeing him give any assessment, analysing games of what's happened. No, he's, he's just dishing people. Yeah, he's picking people to pieces. Just dishing people all the time.